Hi, it's usually an exercise in futility, I tend to predict even the near future, but to examine different scenarios. This channel's main desire is to make the 2020s the decade of revolution right here in the decaying UK. The ingredients are all there, but failing to converge. And so far, it's an uncontested rightward drift, an expanding political void, with no alternatives to capitalism even remotely contemplated. The immediate political future here, barring all-out conflict spreading from Ukraine, is fairly predictable at this moment in time. The Conservative government staggers on until the next election. They lose it rather than Labour win it, leaving Labour with an inheritance they cannot resolve. Labour haven't really got any radical plans, just hot air and fiscal responsibility. Under the present circumstances, within the parameters of the present system, all problems are unsolvable anyway. It's only a question of managing the crumbling system. After a brief honeymoon period, it's more than possible to imagine a massive resurgence of the right, from populist groups to over neo-Nazi formations, going in strength and fighting for domination of the streets to an even nastier Tory party led maybe by a Johnson Lee Anderson type setup feeding off and recalibrating from a massive rightward surge utilizing culture wars and the sad fact that if we care to admit it there are no sign or any sign whatsoever of a rebirth of any real sentiment from the opposite end of the spectrum. The present strike wave is peripheral to all this. There is real anger allied to despair, which is mostly resulting in apathy and individual survival. In this early part of the 2020s, a period of reaction building into a counter-revolution that paradoxically isn't even reacting to a friend to a threat of anything remotely approaching a real revolution, we need seriously to start examining a way out of this growing nightmare and not to preserve this doomed system, but to promote, engage in a serious revolutionary upheaval. When and where will it begin? And from where will it emerge? And importantly, how will we be recognising it? And how we can we prevent it from being diverted and recouped by the middle class left. Questions must always come before answers and recognising the problems as they stand right now. Bye.